Alright guys, welcome to some more uh, Uncharted 3. Let's do it. Drop onto him, okay. Drop attack. That looks like a hurt. Okay. Ooh. This is quite the operation they got Woo! Climbing's awesome. Where are we actually supposed to go? Ah, oh, okay. It's the desk was having nosy. Look at all this stuff. Ew. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not just any book, Wise S. Belong to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They... Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? <laughs> right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Ah, uh, it's long hidden. What? Shh, shh. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? A uh, Golden Hind. Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Well, it could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Okay. Buckland Abbey is a place you've never been there. Move on. Wait. Right. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... Weird. No. No, it's gotta be here. Let's have a look around then. This is it this? Amazing. No. The things in here must be worth is it this? Fortune. No. We can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Yeah, come on, mate. Hurry up. This. Yeah. Nothing like that. It's giving me no triangle option to actually have a nosy at them. Nothing over here. Or here. It's not one of these sort of deals we have to climb up here, is it? Totally fucking is as well. Die, die. Oh. Shit. 
Nothing to actually reload. Yep, thank you. No, I know. Get out of my way, you anus. Die, you bitch. There we go. Come on, where are you, you fuckers? Reload. Holy shit. This is a one shot kill. What? It's not a one shot kill. Down. That's good. It's a good thing. Is that guy? Is he still alive? He is still alive over there. Yes. Come on, Nate. Let's go do this. Oh yes. Let me, bruh. Fuck. That's insane. <laughs> oh, I nearly used it all. One more shot. Are there any more left? No, there aren't. How do I reload this? Oh shit. Get out of my goddamn way, you douche. Let's go back to the machine gun and stuff. Die! Headshot. Oh look, I um... Oh my god. There we go. Thank you for a pain tank. You are lovely. I can pick this up. Oh my god, I have so many weapons now. Come on, let's go. 
Whoop. 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 So I leapfrog. Whoop. Yeah, cabron. Oh shit. Circle. Circle. Don't lose him. <sighs> Guns. The sawn off isn't going to do me much good right now. Oh, they already got them. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Cutter, where the hell are we? All right, let's go. Let's fight our way out of there. Fudge. Yeah. Oh shit, he's too long. My bad. Okay. Yeah. Did I kill him? So I aimlessly firing for pretty much no reason there. This will help. Do you want the sawn off shotgun? I'll use the sawn off a little bit. Oh, I can only hold two weapons, that sucks. Shotgun's not got enough reach for that, so. Come on, you. You're dead. Well, oh, I need to improve my shooting. Cool. Got him. Oh shit. Oh shit, wrong way. <laughs> you can get to Fuck it. Let's just okay, run away. Run, 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 run. Hello? No, no. Can I get through one of these doors? Oh shit. No, reload. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, no. Okay. Where are they? Shoot him a problem. Where are they? Lock on which door, Lou? So it was up here. Ah, oh, of course. Back up, back up! Rambo! The guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job, well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. 
Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Hey, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, right? he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. <sighs> Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well, I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait, if Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. 